So what's up everyone? Welcome back to your channel, Bright Life Institute, I'm Alicia. Today I want to talk about the modern gold diggers. Gold diggers is a term that we use to give to women. But in the time that we live in now, we found in that there are also many men gold diggers. Actually, I started to notice that men in general are very calculative to look in advance the benefit that they can get in a relationship with anyone. It can be a friend, a woman, an employer. Men are really business minded in everything that concerning their life. This is something that I have not really noticed before. I used to judge my relationship with men based on how I think as a woman, based on feeling and based on liking the person. As after all, the word are uh, telling you that you should like people for who they are. You should not look what they have. You should, you know, uh, look at the person and not what they are doing in life or what they can do for you. But again, uh, this is very misleading because many people, especially men, are looking at the benefit they could get with you, they get with you, they looking what you have in your life, what you are doing uh, with yourself. And women in general do not think like that even in a friendship women can blow up a very good relationship a very good friendship with another woman because they are jealous of her but men do not you know drive their life that way they could be friends with a guy they are envious but they see the benefit to learn from that guy and to get their own way with that person. So they will not blow up a relationship because it's uh, they have an issue with the person or they are jealous or obvious of the person. The same things goes for when a man are uh, dealing with a woman they don't really find attractive, they will still sleep with that woman. Or they deal with a woman they don't plan at all to have a relationship with a serious relationship a woman that they will present to their friends and family this will not stop them to still getting involved with that woman and still you know sleeping with her some guy either will say oh this woman is ugly but i was horny and they will still taking the advantage of what worked for them uh, with that person. Like I already mentioned, many women will blow out a relationship that has a lot of benefit for them, a lot of gain for them, because they will go personal about it. They will more be focused on the personal uh, you know, a connection they have with that person, that they dis dislike the person, or they are jealous of the person, or you know, they, there will be some kind of personal problem. Men do not uh, go this way in their relationship. If they dislike somebody, they will still be focused on the benefit they can get. And it seems this is very common uh, toward men. So, the video I wanted to talk about today is regarding modern gold diggers. We see many different uh, people with, uh, you know, from both gender uh, doing the gold diggers in the time we are living now. People that are not just after your money, but they are looking if you have a car, if you have a place, if you have a good job, and if it works for them. Like I say, especially for men. But there is also, of course, women that is doing this. And even women doing this in so-called friendship. 
like recently this is what happened to me I had many uh, women wanting to be friends with me because they needed something for me they needed a place to stay they needed uh, somebody to take them out to spend on them uh, they needed somebody that they could take advantage uh, with uh, with mentally and emotionally to support them and also uh, taking care taking advantage of you financially in the day we live in now people are not just after your money money seems to be after your energy they want to be mixed with you if you are going up if you are loving up if you're progressing of course I can understand that because if you're around somebody that is progressing and advancing you also want that sort of energy and motivation in your life to help you to reach your goals and reach where you want to go as well you don't want to be surrounded of miserable people and people that are going nowhere that are doing nothing with their life and that I can absolutely agree to be taking advantage to be surrounded with such people you know but the question about emotional uh, uh, the energy uh, of the person is some people have this thing that um, if example you are somebody that is working really hard on achieving your dream and other people want to be around you that you know taking taking advantage of this energy and positive vibes from you and seeing you progressing the problem with that is when the other person is not really uh, vibrating in the same energy than you they can drain your energy out because you are maybe positive for them and you adding to them but they are not adding to you they are taking from you every time that we have exchange that it are out of balance we will feel fatigue and we'll feel drained by the other you know the other person or the situation so many people out there seem to be more prone to be after your natural energy natural and uh, positive vibes than your money of course the modern you know gold diggers we look in general you know to feed from everything that you have worked for in your life and like I say those gold diggers are not just women we see a lot of men also in there so how do you protect yourself from the modern gold diggers you need to be comfortable to be alone you need to be ready to walk away from anybody that is not really adding value to your life when we meet people that tell us how much we do for them how much we bring to them how great we are it's flattering to her ego it's nice to hear it's nice to hear that we've been appreciated but it is not satisfying when day in day out we have to fill their cup we have to fill the cup of the person to motivate them push them forward to try to get them to from a to z every day and we lose track on our own you know objective on our own goals in our life to put the energy into us those people that are not ready you know in the same level than you mentally financially uh, even in a motivation way are going to affect you know your progress in life because they are going to demand a lot of energy from you 
and if you have a lot of things to do you also you know want people to push you forward to also um, you know helping you and support you but things turn around that you are here giving all to this person that is not bringing much to the table many of us you know doesn't matter where we are in her life we all need support from other people we need other people but when we don't have the people that is right for us that motivate us that make us feel good in our life it is really reasonable to completely detach from the people that just want to take from us and not bring in anything and focus on her own self some people may perceive this sort of people to be un unsocial but they are not unsocial they just haven't found the people that they can surround themselves with that are bringing them the same return that they want to give to those people's life you need to be really you know um, focus and know what you want in your life know your worth know what you bring to the table because many people are actually coming empty-handed everybody love to meet somebody that is successful somebody that is progressing somebody that is positive everybody like that but it's not fun at all to be like that and to be with the people that having difficulty to wake up in the morning having difficulty to find a job having difficulty to know what they want in life having difficulty to have one single goal in the day so there is nothing to become a modern gold diggers meaning you are looking the quality and what the people that you interacted with has for you like i say men all over the place are naturally doing that so this message is more you know for women for women to start a bit learning from the men and learning about how to you know surrounding yourself uh, with people that is beneficial for you beneficial to your advancement and that uh, have worked on things in their life that can motivate you and can bring some right support and advice for your life so you can get where you wanted to get the people that you know are looking really who can come to their circle could be judged to be you know uh, manipulative and gold diggers or they want to take advantage of the person but I believe that it's smart move it's smart move in the time you're living now to look if you're going to be friends with somebody what kind of person they are in their own life what they are doing in their own life what they have in their own life because energy is transferable so if they are people that are depressive are, you know are bad with money have no goals uh, don't want to do anything in their life are full of drama this is going to impact you and i know that i experienced this recently and i was involved with somebody like that that didn't look like that first that person had a business and was always uh, very charming and positive but i did not know that person very well i i did not pass a whole day with that person and my god when i started to pass a whole day with that person it was the worst experience for me i felt drained I start to get asthma, I start to get headache, I start to feel stress and the worst things for me is I had a lot of things to do and I could not 
come to do the stuff that I needed to do for my life that that was really essential for me I could not do them I could not do my work I could not do my uh, you know my unpacking I just move it home I could not do the stuff for me and on top of that that person managed to sabotage and make it more difficult and stressful the stuff that I already planned long time ago to do for me that was really really important for my life so I believe it's still a smart move to really look at you know, the positive and the benefit that you uh, can get in your relationship. Uh, like I say, many people describe this kind of people that think this way to using other people. But uh, in the world we live in now, uh, many people are looking what they can get in a relationship and I think this is not uh, really in the mentality to use somebody but you want if you want to progress if you want good things in your life especially you want to be happy and uh, not taking too much uh, uh, not taking too much the stress of somebody else you need to look who, who you're going to be friends with and who especially you want to be in a relationship with uh, if you have uh, worked hard in your life and you have uh, very good things, you may be not in a perfect place, but you know that you are a person that is working toward to improve in your life. So you want to be with somebody that is uh, uh, one the same, that, uh, somebody that is not coming empty-handed uh, to eat uh, uh, from your plate only, to survive only from your motivation and finance and, and everything else. Uh, it is not really advisable to have this sort of relationship. I know I had those sort of relationship before and now I realize that, you know, the reason also my relationship didn't work before is because I had this kind of relationship. Because this kind of relationship welcome uh, disrespect. It, uh, it uh, reduce attraction between the two people and it's only uh, making a relationship a toxic relationship because both of you are not coming with uh, having a life or a purpose uh, you know both people need to have their own life have their own things to come together and that make a better relationship than somebody trying to make uh, a wood look like a gold if you see what I mean so guys this is the message I wanted to share today uh, about the modern gold diggers and they are not what we uh, expect the gold diggers to be they are uh, like I say men have been doing this for many many uh, century uh, to look what they can get uh, with their mate, with their friends and this is maybe something still new for the woman because we are so based everything on uh, the relation, the person and uh, we can blow things apart for ourselves just because we don't like the person, just because we are jealous of the person but that doesn't work, that doesn't bring you anything. Um, it, it is really great when we uh, have people that we can rely on and, and bring us the best of the best uh, it, for her life, uh, in her life. It is really smart in the day and time that we're living now that we take the time to select carefully who can come into your life. It can be as a friend or a romantic partners because people can you know be positive for us or negative for us the negative energy of some people can be transferred to us their mood their way to life and their spending the way they're thinking can affect us so it is really essential to look who, you know, we want to interact with, especially on the day to day. It's the same for a job, um, you know, we all you know, give all our time to our work and uh, this is the place that we stay the most in. If we feel like we're in a job that stresses us out, 
that um, do not value us, that uh, uh, we feel very tired, we do not like the job, we are not motivated, then it's the same thing. Uh, you may also want to do it smartly. Uh, from the moment you're aware that this the, this is not the job for you, this is not the environment for you, uh, that you start to look immediately. Uh, don't just leave the job if you don't have some finance. Um, saying this, some people uh, do the same with their relationship. They don't uh, want to leave another relationship uh, if they don't have another person lined up, like what they call the monkey branch. Uh, most of the time, uh, the people doing this are men, and uh, I'm not saying women are, are not doing this or so, but I have really noticed that men have completely another way uh, to deal with their connection compared to women. And us women, we need to really learn from that because. Uh, uh, it is true that if you want to progress, uh, we, it's great to have friends that have have work on themselves, have things that can help us, and the same for a, a partner. Recently, I was contacted by many people that you know uh, were interested to make friends with me or to be in a relationship with me. And I start to look what, uh, who they are, what they are doing in their life, what kind of person uh, they are in their life, uh, you know, what kind of goal they have. And unfortunately, many people uh, were very problematic. And very, uh, they, they had a very bad routine. They didn't have goals. They were spending money they didn't have. Uh, they had a full drama. And for the romantic side, I, I saw many people that did not have a place, didn't have a job, and that's not really what I want in my life. Uh, I don't want to be hitting for somebody, using somebody, but I don't want also somebody to come to my life and just enjoy uh, the stuff I've been working hard to have. So guys, um, this is my message to you today, that's what I wanted to share about the modern uh, gold diggers. Uh, they are not just after your money, they many people after your energy, after already what you have in your life. And it's sad, um, it's sad, uh, but uh, there is also a positive uh, regarding that behavior. Of course, we don't want people and ourselves, we don't want to be involved with people just for what they can do for us and what they have. Uh, it's also nice when we are uh, generally interested by the person and you also want to do good for that person. But before we get to that point, we really need to look uh, more closely uh, what that person is doing in their life, who they are and what they can bring to you. And that's really a smart way to be. So guys, if you like this video, give a big thumbs up, share this video, comment and subscribe to the channel. And I hope this video have helped you uh, and it's going to help you to look more closely uh, the people that you want to invite in your life, that you want to share your life with and the people that is already in your life. I'm Alicia, this is Brighter Life Institute, your channel, and I thank you so much to have watched this video, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!